Hello there. Right, it's make-up tune time. Now this is dead simple, this idea. All you need to do is play on the D and the A string and you either play the open notes or you play with your first finger or your ring finger, your third finger. Okay, so basically we've only got, we're only holding down four different notes there. We're holding down the E, the G, that's on the D string. And then we're holding down the B on the A string and the D. So we're only using our first and third finger, our ring finger. We're also going to strike the odd open E. Okay, so what I'm going to do is play a basic melody. Okay, nice and simple. Now don't forget those slides. Okay, very, very simple. Now what you do is drone. You play the next note to the note that you're playing. So in other words, if you're on the A string, you drone the D string. So all I'm doing is playing the middle two strings. down and onto the E. Now that's that bridge. Now what I'm talking about there is when I played that E on the D string I slid up to it but I also had my finger at the same time playing the A string. So I could go from the E up straight up to the B. So I'm holding my first finger across the two strings. So we've got this. Now if you want you can play the open G. imagination run wild with this, just go with the rhythm. Now if you really want to get advanced you can put your middle finger on the G string and play the B as simultaneously playing the E on the D string. So you get that double stop. loosen up you see because you've got to kind of get the rhythm going you kind of got to loosen up to feel 
to feel that the rhythm of, of this tune is, is pushed from your body through to the bowing that you're playing. <laughs> open E. Forget to slide your ring finger as well. And if you want, you can really be advanced and slide down with your first finger. So if you're playing like an E on the um, on the D string with your first finger, if you really want to get advanced, you can slide down as well as up. I know very tricky but it's when you practice that over and over it gets a lot easier made up tune. There's no notation, there's no th forethought with that, I just went straight into that. I just said right I'm going to play a tune with my first finger and my third finger on either the A or the D string and I thought well I'll hit the odd open E and I thought I'll drone the strings wherever possible to give it some rhythm and that's all I've done there. That's how you can make up a tune on the spot. Now if you add a banjo in, into that mix and a double bass and a guitar, away you go, you've got some great old time sounding tune. <laughs> It's over to your imagination now, but there you are, that's a starting point. Um, loosen up as well, loosen up. I, um, I know I move far too much when I'm playing. I always have done, I can't help it, it's just one of those bad habits I develop. But it does allow me to push the rhythm from my body into my playing of the fiddle and also my bowing. So I don't stand perfectly straight. I know some people can. But I have to kind of move, and that's the way I approach it. Okay, it's a different technique, and it might be fun for you to try. Um, maybe not for everyone, but certainly um, it's worth having a look at. Anyway, that's how, to, how I can make a tune up, just using three or four notes, and a couple of open notes, and the rhythm. That's the important thing. I hope that's fun. I hope that's interesting. Take care. Have a great day fiddle playing. Bye-bye now.